Human Public Spot, I'm George. Welcome to a new episode on this series on refactoring the Airflow modules. And today, I will look into how I can improve on the CloudWatch log configuration that I've set up for my ECS infrastructure. And so if this series and the content of this channel lines up with your interest, hit the subscribe button and join me in this journey of learning by doing. So, let's start coding. This repository that I have open on my VS Code is my Terraform module for ECS. And so as usual, let me head to my VS Code terminal and prep for the work. And so in here, I will run git pull to make sure that I have the latest code on my local machine and then create a branch for today's changes. Before I go any further, I would recommend going through the episode on creating Terraform private module for ECS infrastructure which you can access right here. This is so you can gain context and understand how the current code came about. And then once you're done, you can head back to this episode and check out my changes to the CloudWatch logging configuration for my ECS resources. So let's start. When I converted my infrastructure code to Terraform private module for my ECS resources, I set the logging of my containers to be part of the definition that is passed as an input to the module. So what do I mean by this? If I open my main.tf, I actually create an AWS CloudWatch log resource in here. But this resource is not referenced anywhere in this module, which is where the disconnect lies. So what can I do to use this resource? The so first thing I'll do is head to my local.tf and define a local parameter for an enhanced version of my container definition. I have a local parameter right here, which contains a JSON decoded version of my container definition passes an input to the module. So what I will do is redefine this local parameter and set a log configuration in the definition accordingly. So to set the value of this new local parameter, I will look through each element of the local container definition. So it will look like this. Using a Terraform function called lookup, I will check if the container definition contains a property called log configuration. If this lookup function returns now, it means the log configuration has not been provided. And so I will set the log configuration property. On the other hand, if this lookup function returns some value, I will set an empty map. The options block in the log configuration requires AWS logs region, which I will set using the region variable. The options block also needs a stream prefix, which I'm going to set based on the container name that's set inside the container definition. And I also need to set the actual log group reference, which I will point to the CloudWatch log resource that's created inside this module. And because the intention is to enhance the existing container definition, I will explicitly specify the log configuration parameter on this map and then use the merge function to combine this map with the container definition. And then back to my main.tf, I will need to go to the task definition resource. And I need to change the source of the container definitions property to be the JSON encoded value of my new local enhanced parameter. And that's all the changes that I need. So let me switch to my VS Code terminal. And then I'm going to check in my changes. And now I'm going to switch to my browser and then head to my GitHub account and then access the appropriate repository and then create a pull request for my change and then squash and merge my change. And now let me head to the main repository page and then head to releases. And then I'm going to create a new release. Then click on choose tag drop down, set a tag, set the release title, and then all the way at the bottom of this page, click publish release. Now that I have a new release version, let me head to my project that consumes this Terraform module. This repository that I have open on my VS Code Explorer at the moment is my working with DCS repository project. This contains a set of Telegram configuration files that consume most of the private Terraform modules that I've created, including the one for ECS. And so if I go ahead and open the ECS directory and open the Telegram configuration file, I'm going to update the version of my Terraform source to the latest version that I've just created. And if I scroll down to the input section, 
I have an input variable in here called container definition. And if I scroll further down, this container definition input variable has a log configuration property that's set as part of the variable. I'm going to change some of the values here so we see the difference in the expected infrastructure. So I'm going to change the stream prefix and set it to general. And now what I'm going to do is switch to my VS Code terminal and prepare my session for running Telegram plan. Now that I have my session ready, I'm going to CD inside the ECS directory and then start running Telegram plan. Telegram plan is successful. And if I scroll up this output and head to the section on the task definition resource, this resource will have a log configuration block in here. The log configuration property of my ECS task definition resource has been set up with the stream prefix of general. Now let me head back to my VS Code Explorer. I'm going to remove the log configuration property of my container definition input variable. And if I switch to my VS Code terminal and rerun Telegram plan, and if I scroll to the section on my ECS task definition on this output on my console, and check the log configuration property, notice that the log configuration is still set, but this time with a different stream prefix. This means I'm allowing my Terraform module to create the CloudWatch log within the stack and then use the references to set up log configuration on my ECS task definition. And that's all I have for today. Stay tuned as I continue to explore ways of refactoring infrastructure code in Terraform. In the meantime, please let me know what you think in the comments below and send me some likes if you find this useful. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like the content on this channel. Until next time, keep learning and stay safe. Yeah.